What up, you weirdos? Dave here, and I like knives. Here to talk to you today about the Sog Fielder. Now, this one is a little bit strange for me because uh, typically I try to do, I try to only talk about knives that I have extensive, uh, knives or multi tools that I have extensive experience with. I have actually had this thing less than a week, and I have already decided that. It's not for me. I will likely never be carrying this again. I got this knife around the same time as all three of these. One of them has already taken a bite out of my flesh. Err, close that. But, and I've changed the bandage a couple times. Uh, but that one, those three, I'm still not, I'm still not set on what I want to say about them. This, this I'm pretty well done with. Uh, I have I have played with it to my heart's content, uh, like a like a video game that you get three hours of enjoyment out of, and then you set aside and never, and then you're done. This Sog Fielder is uh, has a blade of three and a quarter inches. It has a handle of four and a half, a width of one and a quarter. A depth of just over half an inch and it weighs in at about four and a half ounces. Now this blade shape I absolutely love. Uh, I love this this little jump on the back spent uh, on, hunter, on hunt, hunting knives uh, gives it a much stronger feel uh, gives it I guess kind of a bolder presence uh, if that's a good way of saying it. We have a blade steel of 7CR17, which has a Rockwell hardness of about 55, I learned recently. Uh, the handle for this one is wood. It comes in both uh, G10 and wood models. There is also the assisted opening version. This one, obviously, is manual. Uh, I believe the assisted is only G10. I will be talking about... Doo -doo -doo. I will definitely be talking about that more extensively later uh, Later in this. This has a very good lock. As you can see, there's a little cutout there. Heavy jimping on the lock provides you immediate access to, ow, to the liner. But as I just demonstrated, I'm done with this because this has a terrible stud. Uh, these bolsters here on the sides surrounding the wood are stainless steel. They're they're metal. So I cannot grind out a half decent ramp to that. I ow, I can't access that. Uh it's only only right handed thumb stud, which is fine for me because I'm right handed and you know right hand privilege and whatnot. Uh so that's but her it's there's no access to it. There's no ramp there's no space in there. Uh, it is, it is effort to dig your thumb in there. And with someone as, with thumbs as cut up as mine, it is, it is pain to dig your thumb in there. So that's just, why is there no ramp? Uh, if this were a fully wood or fully G10 handle, then that would just, that would be a mark against it. But it wouldn't be an absolute. Uh, my Clash, my Ontario Rat, I have similar problems with. The difference is that those are G10 handles, so I can just grind it out. I don't have the machines uh, to grind this out. So, so that's done for me. That's, that's it. That's the selling point. Uh, so terrible thumb stud. Meh. Clip. This is one position, tip down only. Uh, there's very little retention on there. And unfortunately, all of my precision Torx bits, uh, all of my T6 are ground out. They're all dead uh, because I've been playing with switching around clips uh, too often recently. I'm trying to get my Tenacious and Rat how I like them. So I, so I can't take this out and pinch it tighter. So I can't fix that retention at all. It's just crap. And because I don't care about this enough to fix it when I do get more Torx bits, 
the retention will always be crap, unfortunately. I never, that bothers me. I never close that parentheses. Give me one second while I practice my professionalism. There we go. Uh, we have a mirror polish, which makes this absolutely beautiful blade when it makes it a beautiful blade when it's clean. Unfortunately, when you have something like a mirror polish, it goes both ways because that right there, beautiful. That right there, you can steal my identity and it looks all smudgy and stuff. Uh, so as much as my butt sweats, this, this gets disgusting and you can see every single piece of lint that stuck to it. Uh, you can, you can see the outline of every hair pushed through my pocket. It's nasty. Uh, so mirror polish, okay idea, but man, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong quick. Uh, so because of that, it's, I, I don't like it. I would rather this be in a bead blasted, a stonewash, a some, a blackout, something that, that doesn't so easily, uh, so easily capture flaws, I guess, because now that's nasty looking, whatever. Bad fit and finish, uh, we have, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but we have a lot of spacing here, a lot of spacing here in the wood between the uh, wood and the liners right there. Again, I uh, know there's some on the back. We got a backspacer that's ridged. I'm not sure why, but, you know, I'm not sure why it's textured, but it does feel good to rub my thumb down. Unfortunately, there's a whole lot of space right in there between the backspacer. There's a whole lot of space right there between the backspacer and the liners. Uh, there's a lot of space in there. There's a lot of space down here. It's it's bad fit and finish. Uh, so this easily could have been a knife that I appreciated. Uh, I was probably never going to be able to love this thing, but I could absolutely have used it. Um, but unfortunately, because of the clip, because of especially because of the thumb stud this is this is dead for me this is i will i will never use this again this will never again be in my pocket uh and because i value my thumb i'm okay with that uh and that that bothers me however props to sog that is the only company label on this thing all of their other products you will have at least three labels, at least three SOG labels all over the place because you've, you've got to know who made this. You've, you've got to preach it to the world. That's, that's the only one, uh, which makes this much subtler than all of their other obnoxious, annoying products. So props to them on that. However little bit of grinding out right there and I would have actually been able to respect your your decision there SOG sells this for $29 uh, at least they recognize that this is a very uh, very budget offering very low end um, that's about as cheap as their website gets uh, Amazon lists it for 21 knife center for 20 blade HQ Blade H, that's a G, Blade HQ, uh, for 21 I bought this from Academy for 20 Regular listing, I think, is, is $25 there. Excuse me. But for some reason, this was marked down $5. It wasn't a damaged packaging. I'm not real sure why. Uh, so, out of, out of 10, oh, uh, the assisted version, I apologize the assisted version has a, it's a little bit lighter. It's the same size in every other regard. I think it's a little bit more expensive instead of 29. I believe they list it for 40. There is dual, dual thumb studs tip up only. Um, 
there is very, very uh, good ramps on both sides, so it is a true ambidextrous knife. Uh, if you're okay with having it in your pocket on the, the other side, if you're a lefty, and a lock back. Uh, and of course, that knife, only available in G10, has the SOG label in eight different places. Whatever. So I believe that I would be, I believe that I would enjoy uh, the, the SOG Fielder assisted model. I probably wouldn't love it, but I definitely would like it more than this. Um, there's a guy, XX Tactical XX, I believe his YouTube name is. He owns both of these models, and he did a review on them. Uh, his biggest complaint with, and the reason that the assisted was dead to him, was that the lockback has an extra safety on it uh, that occasionally can be engaged while in your pocket. So when you take it out of your pocket, you can't... It, always engage it right off the bat. You have to disengage the safety and then you can open it. Uh, that was dead in the water for him. I don't necessarily understand that, but everything that he says is correct. Uh, so if you want actual insight into the workings of both of these blades, go look at him. Uh, so out of, out of 10 stars, I got to give this a, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to explain that, just, yeah. if you've listened to the rest of this review, you understand what, yeah means. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please list them below. Other than that, have a great day.